Travis Hayward with That's My Entertainment, and we are here with Vincent Rodriguez. How are you today? I am good, Travis. Here's Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, wonderful. So um, uh, we're here at the Phil M. Creative uh, uh, Actors Panel. What is it? Uh, uh, tell me about uh, like what was it that made you want to act? Uh, oh gosh, yeah. you want to <laughs> act? Yeah. That was. I sorry, I wasn't expecting you to ask me that question. Oh, no, um, I don't know. When I was a kid, I, I I was dancing to Michael Jackson. Oh yeah. At, like. From a very, very young age, uh, especially for my relatives. Um, someone told me, one of my sisters told me that I, I was never afraid to perform in front of people. And then, and then as I got older, they started telling me more stories as a kid. And they, they, they told me that I would actually sing myself to sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's that, what's that? There's that, like, that thing that rocks you to sleep and you wind it. And oh, it swings like, the, it swings like the, 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 oh, um, it's like, like a cradle? Or? It's like a cradle yeah, or like yeah. a rocker. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, you have to wind it, though, for it to do that. Oh, okay. Mine, <laughs> they wouldn't wind it. They'd put me in it and I'd, like, swing in it. <laughs> like, I'd lean forward and yeah. swing and then I'd hum. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. I feel like that's, like, the infancy of wanting to act. Oh, but okay. really, it, it came, like, as I got older and... <laughs> I did martial arts. I thought I was going to be like an action star oh, when I yeah. grew up. Yeah. That's really what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. And so I took martial arts and um, and then that all kind of poured into theater when I got to high school and actually action. took an act, a theater class. Because yeah. um, And then I was just, took forever. So I, for, for, uh, so for like all of high school, I transitioned from um, my second black belt in martial arts to four years of just theater and I quit martial arts and focused on musicals and went to school and graduated and then I had a career in musical theater for 14 years. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, when you, uh, since um, since you have a musical theater background, like did you mm -hmm. uh, think about pursuing like a career like in musical theater, like just like Broadway or did you want to always do like movies and TV or? You know, I actually fell specifically in love with musicals oh, really? and so uh, when I went to I went to acting school. Mm -hmm. I, I remember um, my conservatory director at the time. Mm -hmm. He he's the one that interviewed me, and he 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 said, "You know, this program is an acting conservatory." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Yeah, but I get to do musicals, right?" He was like, "Yes, but it's like acting. It's not just musicals here." And I'm like, "Okay, I get it." Okay. But like musicals, <laughs> so <laughs> so that was kind of my like attitude. Oh, yeah. And then I and then when I got there, I learned a lot about myself and. I, I realized there was more to me than just doing musicals, and I started considering myself an actor. Mm -hmm. um, I had only been dancing um, for so long, like actually taking classes in dancing, taking mm -hmm. classes in singing, and so mm -hmm. I just kind of built a lot of confidence up, and then upon graduation, I booked a first national tour of a Broadway tap show. Oh, so nice. huh? that kind of was yeah. like, oh, um, yeah. cool, I got what I wanted, yeah. and I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> right. um, but like, but it was really, solely musicals I wanted to be on Broadway mm -hmm. and I, okay. I tried I tried for that for like 14 years in New York oh, and yeah. I got a lot of cool credits That's out of it oh, nice. and then that yeah. kind of all led to Crazy Ex-Girlfriend oh okay yeah and right on so um uh by the time you actually uh, got the job on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and mm -hmm. everything like uh what um uh could you talk about like uh, your experiences with that like as far as um like uh, once you started to feel that that uh, you know, like uh, hey, I'm on national TV. Like how did how did that change everything for you? I mean, it, it, what was dramatically different started before that. Mm -hmm. I, I did my my last national tour um, mm -hmm. was Anything Goes, and that was like four years ago um, mm -hmm. or so. And uh, it was during that tour I I, I hit. Mm -hmm. I hit like a peak in my career. I was mm -hmm. like, I was in a first national tour of a Broadway mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. directed and choreographed by a Tony Award winning director choreographer, right. um, who I actually idolized all throughout college. Oh, I'd, yeah. I'd studied her choreography. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, working with like stars, mm -hmm. in my eyes, like yeah. they weren't necessarily like TV or movie stars, but uh -huh. Broadway stars. Yeah. And, and during halfway through that tour, I just kind of, I don't know, I just realized, uh, what's going to be next after this and mm -hmm. is there something out there for me that's beyond this uh, that I'm not exploring yet mm -hmm. so I started focusing on TV and film auditions um, on tape so I bought a camera I bought a guitar and I just started to kind of uh, practice and, and, and work on this idea that well what if I'm I could I could do TV and film, huh? so I started kind of pouring my putting putting all my eggs in that basket. And when I got back, I got hostages. Um, I got a few workshops, and and then I got Here Lies Love, and I did Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame, and uh, and then here and then Crazy Ex Girlfriend audition popped oh, yeah. up, and then all that 
kind of oh. just happened. So the, so the transition was yeah. kind of, mm-hmm. it started somewhere. It was, mm-hmm. it was a long time ago that that transition. But then once I got Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, it was mm-hmm. all of a sudden, it was just like, it was LA and it was TV oh, yeah. and it was very different. But it was, it was great because doing musical theater for, for 14 years, you, know, do, you do eight shows a week, you get one night, oh, yeah. you get mm-hmm. one day off. Mm-hmm. So I was used to it certain structure and now it's like I could work a 16 hour day and then have nine days off (laughs) or I can work 12 hour days like six days in a row like Mm -hmm. who knows (laughs) (laughs) but no but but I love it It, it's really fun my 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 time in musical theater prepared me for the demands Mm -hmm. of television um Mm -hmm. so yeah it's it all worked out really well (laughs) great yeah and uh do you have any um new projects that you could share with us or anything coming up or um well, I mean, I, I filmed three guest stars during this hiatus. Oh, oh, okay. One of them has aired, a designated survivor, where I, oh. I play congressman. <laughs> um, two of them haven't aired yet. Um, two of them haven't aired yet. There's a, one on uh, Comedy Central, um, the, the TV show Another Period, and then also on True TV's Adam Ruins Everything. Oh. So those are two things that are coming out, oh, okay. I think, in the next few months. Well, all right, wonderful. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, yeah, thanks.